Welcome back to JDC Live with Gems video. It is an established truth that diabetes treatment globally is a failure. In almost 90% of subjects under conventional diabetes management, when years pass by, diabetes progresses to a multitude of micro and macro vascular complications resulting in devastating illnesses. What is the reason for this global failure in diabetes treatment? This month I am going to look into various aspects of treatment failure in diabetes. The number one reason for failure is suspicion and anxiety. Despite the fact the patient is on good treatment for diabetes, they will go around, discuss with friends, family, other doctors, and will withdraw some medications, will go for alternative medications, alternative therapy, and at the end of 10 or 15 years, will succumb to complications. Another reason for failure is a lack of monitoring with glucometers. Glucometers and self-monitoring of blood glucose is a cornerstone for success in diabetes therapy. Unfortunately, frequent glucose monitoring with glucometers and discussion with diabetes team members on how to modulate the therapy is lacking in the majority. Another reason will be just looking at the basic parameters like fasting sugar, a two hour postprandial sugar once in a while and treating diabetes. Yet another reason is casual treatment. Patients will opt for one doctor, either he is staying nearby or he is a friend or a relative and the treatment will be very casual across the table like this without any diabetes education, without knowing the seriousness and consequences of the illness, with just receiving a prescription and following the prescription without the in-depth knowledge of the serious complications which are going to emerge during the following years. Yet another reason will be cost concerns. Patients ideally have to go through comprehensive laboratory and physical evaluations and multiple drugs. And an ordinary patient is not only suspicious about the therapy, but also is concerned about the enormous cost of a comprehensive evaluation and treatment. And they will not go for these investigations, will adopt a minimal simple care and ultimately will be spending 10 to 20 times the original cost which could have been required for a preventive therapy, unfortunately for the treatment of complications of diabetes in old age. Another common reason for failure in diabetes therapy is lack of time. The lack of time is not only for receiving the treatment in a hospital where they have to undergo various investigations, discuss with the diabetes, diabetes educator, discuss with the dietitian, with the nurse educator, etc., etc. But again, lack of time for exercise. Because of the busy lifestyles, hardly patients are getting time for a daily 30 to 45 minutes walking or other forms of exercise. And another reason is they can't follow the instructions of diet regulations. They have the desire to eat more, desire for fatty foods, 
They said eat more sugars, etc., etc., etc. Coming back to the polypharmacy, again another major reason for treatment failure in diabetes. Patients will be put on multiple drugs including drugs to prevent heart disease, drugs to prevent kidney failure, drugs for the treatment of minimally elevated blood pressure. But when they find that their values are normal, instead of modulating the dosages of drugs, they will themselves decide to stop other drugs prescribed for prevention of complications. And ultimately they will be taking only one or two drugs just for the blood sugar. And last but not the least is another important reason. Diabetes is a progressive illness. It is not a static illness. So the treatment, the dosages, the drugs have to be changed at least once in three or six months. The blood sugars and the other parameters will never remain static. And some of these patients will be on the same drugs for a long time until they succumb to complications like heart attack or a kidney failure. I have just discussed the common causes of treatment failure in diabetes. However, we have observed in our diabetes center of patients undergoing comprehensive treatment and follow-up in diabetes tele-management system, the DTMS, where they are on a periodic follow-up via the telephone or email. Almost 80% of them achieving the targets of therapy and not developing any complications of diabetes. So that is also possible in diabetes treatment. So let us all decide that diabetes should be treated promptly with the regular monitoring and repeated sessions on education on various aspects. And from us, Jyotidhi's Diabetes and Research Center, Trivandrum, India. Until next month, goodbye.